Uju in Dinaway Makinadok. This is Kage Gabo, and tonight we're going to be discussing third person VAI verbs, as well as third person possession, non possession. So, this is very fascinating right here. This in Ojibwe is a complete word sentence. Minoaya literally translates to she, he is well, good. And there's no difference between masculine and feminine. Minoaya, she is good. Minoaya, he is good. This works with min And miigwechewendum. In fact, we can punctuate that because that is a complete sentence. However, these are nouns. So here is makazin, the shoe, a shoe. Now to say his or her shoe, all I have to do is write o, o makazin, his shoe, her shoe. Makazin again, the book. O makazin again, his or her book. And here's Mishomis. And Mishomis has. We'll start with Omishomis, and then it'll have this at the end. Omishomisan. And it's really that easy. We just put the Omakazin, his or her shoe, Omazin Ikan, his or her book, Omishomisan, his or her grandfather. Again, for this one, Naba, he or she is sleeping, all we have to do is write Naba, he or she is sleeping. Again, we punctuated this. It's a complete sentence. Mashkimo, the bag, a bag. Oh, Mashkimo, his or her bag. We guasake. He or she is gathering birch bark. We'll just capitalize it. We guasake. He or she is gathering birch bark. And then makuk, the birch bark basket, the birch bark uh, container. His or her makuk is. Oh, makuk. Oh. Meet you, miigwech bizindawiyek.